Hello, it's Mrs. M, Youth Services Librarian at the Detroit Public Library. Today, we're going to celebrate Hispanic Awareness Month. And during this time, September 15th to October 15th, we recognize the accomplishments of all um, those Hispanic um, Americans that have um, made achievements to our world and um, celebrating their culture um, and celebrating the different um, areas of the world that are um, Hispanic. Um, today I am going to share with you a um, story about Mexico. It's called Crayola Colors of Mexico and then I'm going to teach you a Hispanic craft. Crayola Colors of Mexico. This has been uploaded on, from Hoopla um, from the, uh, onto my tablet. It is a um, app that you can download and upload your library card, any digital books that you want. Um, we have an index that says um, table of contents. It says, let's visit Mexico, looking around, colorful animals, and celebrating celebrations and food. So let's visit Mexico. Mexico is full of bright, beautiful colors. It's a big country in North America. There is so much to see in Mexico. The sun shines on aqua ocean water and tan sandy beaches. Mexico is between the Pacific Ocean and the Gulf of Mexico. The land has beaches, mountains, volcanoes, forests, and more. Emerald grass grows near tall pyramids in Mexico. These pyramids are very old. They are made of tanned stone. Colorful animals. Look in the trees and see yellow, green, red, and orange. A bright toucan lives in the rainforest. Coral flamingos wade in warm water. Look at all those spots. Jaguars are covered in orange and black fur. Their markings help them hide in Mexico's forests. Celebrations of food. Pink, yellow, and red flash by in a parade. Fun colors fill the streets during lively Cinco de Mayo celebrations. People enjoy music and dancing. During Day of the Dead, people in Mexico remember loved ones who have died. They decorate special altars with candles, flowers, and food. The holiday is a joyful time filled with color. Spicy red peppers and juicy oranges, papayas, grow in Mexico. People enjoy yummy tacos. Meals in Mexico are bursting with color. More about Mexico. Well, it's in North America. And the capital city is Mexico City. And the population is 125,959,205. This is the flag of Mexico. But you see that there's lots and lots and lots of other countries in South America that are Hispanic and Latin. So if you want to learn more, come to your Detroit Public Library and borrow a book on a Latin American country. And you can learn more by reading about them. Now, right now, we're going to make an Ocho de Deus, which is God's Eye. Um, this is a small one that I made. Um, what is it? It's a spiritual symbol made by the Huchal peoples of Western Mexico. It is the simplest form. In its simplest form, it is weaving made with yarn of several colors and wood. The four points symbolize earth, fire, air, and water. They are created as a celebration of blessing. They symbolize a spiritual eye that is able to see and understand what a human eye cannot. This is a great craft that you can make. make. And 
It's an excellent opportunity to learn more about the Mexican culture. Even if you've never made an Ocho DASB before, I promise you, you'll be able to make one quite easily with the following instructions. You'll need two wooden sticks. You'll need yarn in different colors. You'll need some scissors to cut the yarn. You'll need glue to glue the sticks together in an X format. So first what you're gonna do is you're gonna glue the two wooden sticks together in the shape of a cross and let the glue dry just like this. With the first color of the yarn, you're gonna create an X. So I'm gonna come across here and make an X. So we're gonna come across and we're gonna make an X. See the X? Okay, then we're gonna go around in one direction once and then wrap it three times around in the other direction. So we're gonna keep going around and keep going around and keep going around until we fill that middle with color. Okay, now what you want to do is you're going to continue in a counterclockwise direction by wrapping the yarn all the way around one stick, then continuing on to the next stick and wrapping it all the way around and so on and so forth. Do this to create as many rows as you would like. And if you don't have a yarn such as this that has multiple colors, you, um, when you want to, you tie on a new color of yarn onto the yarn that, that you, know, you are working with and then continue the process with the new color. Do not cut off the old yarn until you have done a few rows and are sure that the knot between the yarns are secure. You can switch colors as often as you like. So let's, let's, let me demonstrate how to do this. So you're going to go up and over and up. You're just going around and around and around and around until just like this one you have a god's eye and you can attach beads and feathers and all kinds of things to the end and if you want to make a large one you can use sticks or other paint sticks and other um, pieces of wood maybe some sticks from outside to create your, your, your X so that you can wrap yarn so you can make a bigger one for your room. And then when you're done, you secure it with a knot just like this. Boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed my presentation today and I hope you visit the Detroit Public Library soon to borrow a book about a Latin American country, a Hispanic country, and learn more about the Hispanic culture during this time the Hispanic Awareness Month, September 15th through October 15th. Thank you so much, and I'll see you soon at the library. Goodbye.